Hello and welcome to another update video about Cosmos Atom. Yeah, Cosmos in a free fall at the moment. Um, not surprising, as you know, we've been talking about these target levels here for a while. And you can even see here from the last video that I did expect the price here maybe to bounce off a little bit, possibly go all the way up to retest that resistance, but it didn't even, the market didn't even push Cosmos back to that level. And then to deep dive, or to dive deep into this target area that is now where we now are. So more weakness in the chart than I actually anticipated even, yeah. We've been talking about these price levels um, since December, January, um, even since the close to all time high move here of Cosmos. And we are now finally there. So that this here is a corrective move was anticipated and we're getting finally, finally into the target area. Next target, especially now that we have dropped below the $20 level, which was the minimum target for this correction, the absolute minimum. Um, so it's all going according to plan. The next target would be that $15.80 level. That is the 78.6% Fibonacci level. That is the ideal target for such a retracement. We are currently around about 15% away from that. And if we lose that, which is not unrealistic in the current environment, then we still have 37% space from actually where we are now to the $12 level. In the very worst case, the price could go down to $7.89 in the current scenario. With the current scenario, I mean that we are going to correct down and then we'll see a reversal to the upside because I see this here as a wave one. I see this here as a wave two. And um, we should then see here the price move up from here. That is at least where the price has another good opportunity, another good chance to turn around. Can the correction even last longer? Well, it could, it could, um, but that would imply that we drop below $7.89, um, already below $12, below the 88.7% Fibonacci level. It gets even more likely that we drop lower, but, um, Let's stick for, with this for now. What I can tell you definitely that we are not in an uptrend yet, that we have come obviously as expected into this target area that we've had on the radar since November or December, um, and that we now just need to watch for a bullish signal. At some point, I do expect a reversal now. Now that could be a corrective move up, which means after that we are going to come down once more, or it could be an impulsive move up. In an impulsive move, what you want to see, for example, let's say we get down to the 78.6% level, the $15.80 level, an impulsive move up would imply that we see five waves up. And then ideally what we want is an ABC down. And if that is a higher low, and we then start to see a bullish signal again, that would be an amazing entry point. But currently we are not there yet. Currently we are currently still in this um, yeah, impulsive move down here and um, yeah we'd need to wait for that reverse and then a corrective move down and only then we can be more certain that we are going higher and that the correction might actually be finished but until we really get above these important levels here you know for example here 33 dollars 35 dollars these are very important levels structurally for the chart until then the downside potential is still very much real and we are only really just starting that move down you know other cryptos have done it already Phantom has done it, Harmony One has done it, Cosmos is finally doing it as well. Took a while for it, you know, it moved sideways for such a long time, but it's finally coming down. And even as we speak, we're dropping down lower. And um, when we dropped below here, below the 61.8 level, this is really when the when the downtrend start again, uh, started again, when the acceleration started. So what I'll do now, even though we reached the target level, I will reduce the target level down now to this area because this is now the area where I have to assume that with the highest probability we get into. So between $12 and $15.80, where then I would expect a reaction at one of these levels. First, obviously at the $15.80 level, especially as we are now oversold. So I'm not even sure if we get down exactly to that level. My view um, in the first instance, yeah, I don't think we are just dropping down there straight away. That would be really bearish. I think we are going to see here a counter reaction. We are now oversold. Yeah, we're already at 27 on the RSI. We cannot see a sign of recovery yet, but you can see that we had important support here 
uh, at around 18 dollars yeah or 17 dollars and 50 that was in september 21 and august 21 so i would expect here at 17 dollars and 50 some support um and possibly then also a short-term reversal to the upside if we add the vpvr to the chart does it show us anything does it show us anything not really we're only just coming out of this volume profile here but typically as you can see we had support here we had support here we had resistance here we had support here support here so that is quite a relevant level seventeen dollars and fifty would be surprised if we just go through that straight away but you never know but here that would be the next target and after that the fifteen dollar and eighty level okay so that is pretty much my summary about cosmos Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.